हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड सेफ एट योर होम डियर स्टूडेंट्स एज यू कैन सी द बुक लेसन नंबर थ्री एनिमल्स बर्ड्स यू ऑल आर थिंकिंग दैट वाई आई हैव ओपन दिस बुक एंड यू आई एम शोइंग टू यू येस बिकॉज वी हैव कंप्लीटेड दिस लेसन लास्ट सेशन इन लास्ट सेशन ओके In last session, our last topic was bird bath. Okay, but in this session, I'm going to give a quick revision of this chapter. First, we have we will see what we have studied in the starting of this chapter. Those who have not seen the last videos or previous videos, please look at this video properly. Okay. so in this chapter first we have studied the body parts of a bird okay body parts of a bird in that we have studied the parts of the body of the bird next we have studied the different types of beaks and the different types of beaks depends upon the food the birds eat okay first in that sharp strong and hooked beak second short stout cone shaped beak then third is needle like beak chisel like beak broad and short beak okay can you see then broad and short beak long broad and pointed beak okay then broad and flat beak next in the next page pouch like beak curved beak these are the types of beak that we have already studied in detail okay and here one chart is given there this chart you have to learn it that also i have told you that how you have to make the chart and learn it okay in a easy way the next page you will go that is test your understanding okay test test your understanding in this it is the question a bird with chase a shade beak with pecker okay answer is given in your book find out and do it okay that is your homework a bird with needle like beak humming bird a bird with curved beak parrot a bird with talons eagle a flightless bird ostrich or kiwi okay very good next topic was feet and claws that we have studied in detail okay so feet and claws according to the feet and claws there are some types of birds that is swimming birds climbing birds perching bird next is wading bird okay then scratching bird then praying flesh eating bird flesh eating bird is known as praying bird okay then here also chart is given Okay, according to feet and claws, how many types of birds are there? Then next is wings and feathers, and some one activity is also is there. Let's do it. So this you can make at your home with the help of your parents. Okay, here wings and feathers that also we have studied in detail. Three types of feathers are there. Okay, flight feather, body feather, down feather, and this structure you have to draw it. Okay, in your class work copy on the plain sheet, draw the three types of feathers. Next is how birds fly. We have studied in that two movements are there: up stroke movement and down stroke movement. Okay, very good. Then next is what makes the bird fly? Their wings, their feather, their tail, their light bones, and boat shaped. body help the birds to fly okay next is food habit how the food how the birds eat the food okay different birds are having different quality of eating food okay then sorry next of birds nest of birds in this we have studied uh, in detail that how the birds are making their own house Okay, own nest. Okay, and why they need 
which type of material they are using all things in detail we have studied okay clear so here first is eagle's nest tailor's nest okay weaver bird's nest these are the name of the birds okay and how they are making their nest next is woodpecker's nest then nest of some other ant birds and some of the birds are not making nest okay that is also given there so nest of birds chart is there in short chart is given there it helps you to learn easily okay then today uh, in the last uh, previous session we have studied the some special features of the birds in this we have studied the very special features about the some other birds okay like uh, longest uh, uh, largest uh, egg largest bird smallest bird smallest uh, egg okay and then how the owl move their head okay and then we have studied then parrot can imitate our voice okay many and peacock is the our national bird many things we have studied then this is the last topic of this lesson that we have already studied in the pre previous session bird baths and care for animals how the birds are taking bath okay this type of picture this type of uh, vessels we can keep also in our house and we can put the water the birds can come and take bath okay or they can drink water this type of uh, grains also we can keep it in our house for the birds that i have told you okay then last here it is given let's do it that is also an activity to make a nest okay you can also make a nest okay learn this uh, this uh, read it and uh, with the help of your parents if you want to take part you can made it okay then here keywords are given there in every lesson keywords are there please at least once you read it okay flesh eating bird okay bird that eat flesh stout means heavy or strong keywords is a like a word meaning okay but in general sense word meanings are not coming in your exams but for your information for your knowledge you have to read it and once you learn it okay then summary is there yes student summary is very important in every lesson summary please once you read it okay important point underline it okay you can find the answers objective answers okay so here we will see the keywords first okay claw means the pointed end of a bird's toe okay webbed means something which is joined to each other to form a web web means jal okay gland an organ that produces specific chemical substances oil glands which we have studied in the uh, feet and claws okay then perching perching bird the act of birds using claws to hold the tree branches that is called perching okay then talons talons sharp and hard claws of eagle or hawk that is known as talons okay sharp and powerful claws raptors of birds of prey have okay then down stroke movement which helps the bird to fly okay down stroke movement what is moving moving wings downward and forward okay up stroke movement moving wings upward and backward or you can say movement of wings upward or backward okay then flightless bird birds that cannot fly example ostrich kiwi emu okay etc bore bore means drill or pierce drill okay to make a hole so woodpeckers make a bore or they drill the tree trunk that is the promptly means immediately okay veterinary means to treat sick and injured animals or you can say veterinary doctor who treats the animals okay next is summary summary in that we 
I will read the first word. First point is there. Birds have no teeth. Okay. Birds have no teeth. Their beaks break the food that they eat. Okay. Flight feathers help in flight. While down feathers keep the bird warm. Okay. Beaks are of different shapes and sizes depending on the kind of food a bird eats. Birds use their feet and claws for many important activities such as swimming, catching, prey, walking, wading and perching. Okay. Flying birds fly with the help of their boat shaped body, strong muscles, hollow bones and flight feathers. Clear? These three things are very important. Boat shaped body, okay, strong muscles, hollow bones and flight feathers. Birds such as ostrich, penguin and kiwi cannot fly. Why? Because they are very heavy in size, okay, or you can say their bodies are very heavy. Birds build nests to lay the eggs and keep their young ones safe and sound. Okay. Next point is nest of birds are varied. Okay. Birds use a wide range of materials to build the nest. Many things they are using that we have already studied. Grass, twigs, sticks, cotton, rough clothes, many things. Okay. Placing bird baths. And bird feeders can help the birds in their search of food and water. If you want to help the birds, please keep the water and food on your roof, okay? Or in your house, on the pillar, anywhere where the birds can come and they can eat or they can drink water. So here students, we have completed this lesson, okay? Now, your work is that... Any kind of uh, doubt is there, underline it, just search it, take the help of your parents if any kind of doubt is there, okay, clear it, okay, clarify it, okay, and lesson number one, living, non-living things, that question answer, diagram, everything completed, don't use the sketch in the classwork copy okay color the diagram with the pencil color okay or crayon but please label the diagram what you are what you have made that labeling part is very important okay if you will not label the diagram in the examination time also your marks will be deducted okay so please be careful in this time okay so lesson number two in that we have studied the human body in that we have a study about all the organs okay and respiratory system air pollution effect of air pollution many more things we have studied so that things don't forget it okay don't forget this and please learn it complete it all the things properly okay exercises all the question answers i have uploaded okay uh, on the school website please visit the school website open it write it in a neat and clean handwriting okay clear and after writing learn it also okay there is no time okay only june month is left okay so please learn it as the school will reopen okay your exam will be there after revision okay so please do it and in second chapter that respiratory system you have to draw okay that i have also given in the homework okay so in this chapter in lesson number three in this only one diagram you have to draw that is three types of feathers flight feather down feather body feather okay you can make a margin in one page only you can draw okay one page you can draw the body, uh, flight feather big one then body feather then down feather okay so like this you can complete your copy properly okay those who are not 
uh, having book and copy so please at least in rough copy you can write it anywhere question answer diagram exercise answers okay so whenever you will get the books and copies you can write the exercise in your book and as well as copy work okay so this is the instruction which i want to give to you and in next session we will solve the objective type questions of this lesson okay so please in next session get ready with your pencil and eraser okay don't use the pen because you are in third class okay so till then take care and be healthy help the birds help the animals okay and yes in this time help your parents also okay they are also working a lot for you okay they are taking care of you very nicely so please you also help your parents okay and enjoy with your families okay clear time to time study time to time play and enjoy okay okay take care